Not bounty for years. <laughs> Not bounty for years. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Drew's Farming Life. Today we are bringing in the last of the cattle. Actually, we've got seven still out up the road, but uh, that won't be much of a hassle. That will just be a wee trailer load. But uh, we've got a couple of a couple of loads of these bullocks to come home from up the moor. Um, I mentioned them the last time we were bringing the cattle in, we let them out from their top bit into the moor so they had a hundred and whatever acres to, hundred and thirty acre I think it is, to play about in. So they had plenty of area to scope around so maybe when we get there they might be around the fank like last time but if not the drone is there just in case. I keep saying this and I hope that I get to use it. Apologies, the sun is at a very bad height, so I'm struggling to find places to record. Uh, <coughs> so if there's any footage that is quite dull, I'll try and cut it out. See, right now I'm just disappearing because the sun behind me. There's nowhere to put the camera at the other side while I'm driving on the road. So, got to be safe. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to my video, my channel, sorry. <laughs> It'll help improve my reach on YouTube. I believe it does seem to be working. So if you would like to do that, that would help me a lot. Thank you very much. So let's get straight to bringing these coos in. And uh, hi, hopefully all goes smooth. Hopefully. <laughs> we have arrived. And uh, the cattle are nowhere to be seen, so I think I am going to get my drone out and fly up. The pickup's up the top there, and uh, yeah, that'll be mum and dad trying to look for them, shake a pail of cake and hope they come. However, I'm just going to get the drone out and bring them down, because I think that'll be fun. <laughs> That was dramatic. God's sake, so hard to find good music. Well, that went well. Um, uh, drone helped a wee bit, I suppose. <laughs> che kept the uh, stragglers away from the back and brought them in, and then they two that buggered off. Uh, just been a little bit too scatty. Well, we got them, and uh, now they're all in the fank. And uh, I, I think it'll be about three loads. I think Dad said there's 34 there, maybe 35. So, yeah, get these home, put them in the, put them in their slats, and uh, yeah, that's uh, one less job to do. So, ideal. But hopefully, I got some good drone footage of that. A uh, beautiful day today. Not expecting the sun. 
but I'm not complaining. The only thing I'm complaining about is the sun being at the height it's at because it's right in my eyes, but that's not a major problem. <laughs> Let's get this reversed in. Get the first load on. I think I've already made no, no, I've corrected it. I've no made an R set this time. <laughs> Quite a good loading bay here, like. Looking at Dad in the mirror. He's dealing with the woot. Now uh, to see where the door lands, if that's okay. The yeah, sun's at the wrong height there, you know. It's can you see my face? There we go, that's better, eh? <laughs> Any good? We're good. I don't think you can help too much just yet, we puppy. Counting like a kid, Mum. <laughs> I'll be fine. What are you saying? Well, we've got the wrong gate round here. Shh. Right. Yeah. Up. Up. <laughs> There's a heifer safe, she escaped. Get to you. Come on. Up. Here. Up. Up. Come on, hop! 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 Shhh! Yank! He's up! He's no awkward! It's fine! Hop! Hop! Come on in! Hop! Shhh! Got a Monty through that one! Not Bonty for years. Not Bonty for years. <laughs> Don't have forgot that. <laughs> Not for years. Definitely still got Bonty for it. It's kicking like that. <laughs> Hiding. <laughs> but. That went well. The loading went well. Happy enough with that. I don't know if you can tell or not, but Mum doesn't like being on camera. She's told me in the past she doesn't want to be on it, so gotta watch what I'm doing here. <laughs> I think she loves it. Really, it's funny. <laughs> That's just gaped over the head fence. On our way down for the next load. Fader's actually coming down with a pickup, so it'll only be one more go down to load up. So, with this on, I'll get another I got 13 on that first load. So, probably try and get a couple more on it, and then the pickup will take the rest. And uh, aye, saves another run. <laughs> so, that's us arrived back up here again with the moor. Uh, when we first, I'm not sure if I said or not, but 
when I first got the place, <coughs> access wasn't very good. You had to drive across there and uh, get in there, across there. But they wanted us to come in the bottom corner of this triangle. And they also wanted, because we had cattle, to build another fence because that one's low. Uh, well, he's whoever owns the house up there, that's not the same bloke. Uh, they sold he sold that as well as this ground so we had to build this fence here and make it a lot higher and then we had to build this road to get in because this corner is quite wet but we found that the top side's very dry and then it goes to the moor when they find all the peat and wet bits and bogs and and all sorts of uh, bits of land up there let's see <laughs> Uh, aye, uh, there's quite a bit of wind, so maybe need to get the digger in and clear quite a bit of that and get some good ground back because that the wind's over to the left. That is good ground. Clear all that and then get get more grazing land, you know. So that's awfully good up here. Uh, just saying there, you know, all that's dry because there's shelf rock under it. All bend in this gate. Come on, out of here! Out! Come on! Come on, out here! Come on, in! Come on! Come on! Sit. Well, that's the last of loading cattle up here, so. Shutting the gate for the last of this year. Well, that went well. There's obviously some editing we need to do to the. We need to do to the fank. Uh, maybe a heavier duty gate or even a. <coughs> well, I, we're talking about where Feather was standing at the side of the float and the side of the uh, the, wee, the wee trailer there. Uh, we're on about welding a couple of crooks for hanging a gate further back so that it gets a better angle and then moving that gate so that it's uh, so you get the cattle in through that gate but then move the same gate back one and then you get a better angle for tying it onto the trailer and then that means he could be up the back of the pen with me helping shove him forward to get them on so that's one thing that we could be doing in the future um, but other than that it's a very good fank and we don't that's never happened before with it bending and that wee gate bending and pinging but uh, if anyone knows the cost of gates it's a bit mental so we'd ideally like to keep that gate good <laughs> so aye uh, we'd ideally need heavier gates, but um, aye, it works away fine. Works away fine. It's good. It's good. Very good. Very happy with it. So, aye, I'll be there for years to come, as I said in the last one. <laughs> come on! Come on, in here, 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 here. Where are you going? Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, it's getting quite cold with the wind and that. Uh, I know there's a storm meant to be coming in the day. Uh, so, aye, there's snow and all that coming. So, uh, aye, hopefully we don't get it, but who knows at this point. So, uh, aye, see you all next time. Hopefully I get a video of the 135 working, feeding the coos. But, uh, aye, we'll just see how it goes. Keep trying to bring you the content that you love. So, cheers guys. <laughs>